a much cleaner one can see the efforts of uh, keeping the place clean on the subway is so clean I am in front of Tiananmen Square the traffic is going very smoothly bicycles to cars Grand Hotel and this is the morning rush even the trash cans are clean that's the degree of cleanliness I am watching here Frank Shan Park everything is in Chinese that seems to be the only language here I wonder how they managed during the last year's Olympics with the no English naming of any of the monuments this is the beauty of the park in the morning one can see people feeding the fishes and the better be goldfish in this park there is a place for meditation to Tai Chi It must be wonderful to do Tai Chi in this calm, quiet, beautiful park Art, practice, martial arts, Why not settle park? More of Tai Chi. Morning traffic at Tiananmen Square. Crowded. So flower beds in the Tiananmen Square. This is the beauty while the husband is doing Tai Chi, the wife and child are watching. How is this for a calm, peaceful but colorful place for Tai Chi? This is Tiananmen Square. Today is uh, September 23rd and October 1st is the national day. Hence the preparations are on. To an extent that the hotel I'm staying, Jason, which is close by, the guests are curfew for about 48 hours during that time. And they are checking the bags of the locals not mine. The view one can see is just fantastic. Still there's a lot of traffic. One can see the definitely pillars and also the summer trees. This is the Tiananmen Square. Finally the 
shaping of this nation from western insults. Now I have entered the palace museum courtyard through the torch that I came through and here is a huge courtyard with this type of a pillar on the top either it's a lion or a dragon There's a parsimon tree inside the courtyard. Of course, there's an enormous, enormous security all over. And recently, a bus was burnt in the city as the National Day is approaching. The whole place is impressively clean. Almost part. This must be the palace where the Past King's Lewd. Now it's a museum. Further down, almost at the fourth level, got some housing. Inside, there is Imperial Garden, Palace of Earthly Tranquility, Palace of Heavenly Purity, Palace of Obstinence, Hall of Imperial Supremacy. Hall of Mental cultivation, cultivation, Hall of Preserving Harmony and Hall of Supreme Harmony. Lang Shan Park, located at the right side of the palace, is a 22 hectare. It's a beautiful garden. That's a security vehicle coming with the flowers in the full blossom because of the approaching national day. Roses everywhere. Children visiting and posing for a group photo. Inside the park, one can see this uh, beautiful courtyard. This is the 60th exhibit for a 60th year National Day celebration exhibit from 1949 to 2009 of the group that has taken place here. Painting of Mahavo with this color camera. The colorful entrance to this <laughs> On a close-up, this is the view of the colors of the flowers. We will be practicing for the National Day. This is another thing going on. Uh, various practice. This is the entrance to the park with a fountain which surrounds the nice flowers. The achievements of the nation are shown on a giant screen in the Taiwan Square. This is the actual view of the Tiananmen Square. The magnate which is fruits are used as a decorative piece. Backstage is a floral stage curtain. Huge dahlias. Very colorful. So about a ride on a cycle rickshaw in this bridging major road with high traffic. This is a store in front of 
Lama Temple with the large number of stores selling agarbatti as you can see in the storefront to any number of puja items not to forget Buddha with the swastika statue and this is the entrance with beautiful arch at the entrance Yungong Tibetan Buddhist Lama Temple built in 1694 nice and beautiful however visiting a temple to pray God is not free as it costed 25 yuns which is about four dollars only Hindu temples have remained free to visit including at Dharma Darshan in Tirupati and other busy places. The whole path is lined by ginkgo biloba trees. Courtyard is just beautiful with the people praying with agarbatti. The lion has been symbol and uh, usually stand as a Dwara Parakas. I am uncertain where this was acquired as China is not natural habitat for lions except to say that as Buddhism originated in India it could have been taken from there. As I walk through the main gate, one can see the beautiful arches it's are so colorful. Three sticks of incense are used to pray for Buddha. The language is Tibetan, not Chinese, and has a origin from Pali or Sanskrit. As I keep going, more and more buildings are noticed. There are nine Buddhas here, the middle one being the Sankhya Muni. This must be the quarters for lamas now. One can see you on a high bridge. This is a Rama who allowed me to take this picture. Another one is so tired, he has to take a nap after prayer. Entrance to Ming Tu. These designs are created using coxcomb for red and chrysanthemum for yellow. The whole temple, the whole temple. But financially, they just damaged that. Because people didn't burn down. So that's why we just damaged the original. Damage the 1966. Get rid of the old. What is in the foreground is a drum. 3,000 were used during the Olympic ceremony. You can feel the drum. Uh, simultaneously, the Chinese people built Beijing. So, friend, usually try to remember this name. Dynasty, Judy. From it's an ancient name. You can pronounce Judy. his name into Judy, right? Actually, 600 years ago, when the Chinese the Emperor Judy he moved the capital to Beijing. During that time, the Chinese people placed first. These pillars are made of Namu wood, as strong as steel and is extinct now. 
about 100 years back and is considered one gram of this equal to one gram of gold. It is that strong, probably stronger than gold, but more valuable. Way to the burial ground of a because Emperor believe that under an artificial mount. It's a boundary this between five people's work behind the gate and Ivory the live people's work this side. This is a secular procession work belong to us on the side when they are alive. The Emperor's built uh, their own. Actually, you know, behind this goat, we believe that they belong to Thailand. Uh, and uh, uh, the Emperor's goat belongs to Thailand. This is 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 the Emperor's goat belongs to Thailand. That they thought they need all the luxury when they die, and kill their women, folks, on the sacrificial table, and were buried along with the dead body of the emperor. Entrance to the emperor's tomb. This is the man-made hill. Under which is the palace where emperor was buried. This has not been excavated, as they do not want to do it. This is a canal arch of which looks very much Indian, leading on to this well, which is about 30 meters deep, and the sacrificed women of. Emperor's Antapura, which numbered about 3,000, were put into this well, and some voluntarily committed suicide, as these bodies cannot be buried along with the emperor, according to their belief. More so, the false status and order of the emperor. This is the appearance of the courtyard from the top. Herbal Medicine Research Center. Interior of this research center must be ancient. Seating. This was a ritual. It cannot be modern. Chinese Emperor wanted longevity. Uh, Apparently, enhanced herbal research and are taking many preparations. Again, one can see the chakras. Part of things to China came from India to Buddhism. This is an example of that. Uh, he can help you check the pulse, yeah, with the three fingers. Check the pulse here and here. So that's Chinese doctor's diagnosis way. Ginseng. The professor examining a patient who volunteered. They examine the pulse, the tongue, and both the hands, and give the diagnosis. Portrait of an ancient Chinese physician. Another portrait of a ancient Chinese physician. This snake comes from a particular province in China. A wine in which the snake is immersed is taken a small quantity before dinner, considered to be very healthy. As Chinese medicine uses animal, plant, mineral products. This is the cable car to. Great Wall. One can see the mountains around. The reason Chinese built the Great Wall is because of the Mongols, who were stronger and ruthless. And the original one was built between 7th century and 2nd century BC. But was crazy. used fragile material. Uh, so it fell okay. apart. Rebuilt by Ming Dynasty. Well, We'll park in, here uh, until you return back. Okay. So later, on this way back to the bus. Don't get the wrong way. Don't walk in this way. Just the, you know, million go workers. this way. When you come, the cable car is going up.
This is uh, 170 meters above sea level. However, the highest point of the uh, actually Great Wall can, can reach one man's later you come meters. to Beijing. That will be the great. total length you of can the see the leaves there is uh, turning white. Uh, you can see that. 8,700 kilometers. Yeah. Actually, one man's More laser. recently, that is last week, leaves I read in the local paper. Right. They found During another time, 13 kilometers the recently oh, that was uh, yeah, the right excavated. Wow. You can see the fall colors are changing now, September. As in, but one in about a month, yeah, they will yeah, all be very now, colorful. Spray now. The yeah. first view of the <laughs> Great Wall through the cable car. Ah. I'm, I'm taking a video. Yeah. Uh, you can see this side, you can see the burn out. Smart people you know. walking on the Great Wall. We are so high up there. Yeah. But in our group, everybody decided to take the cable car. Do you dare you think that? Come. One ah. can see the. Magnificent construction as it extends and extends and extends. Today is a foggy day and the view may not be as clear. The path is very uneven and even when you walk makes it harder and this is not for a very special tourist. Think of all these bad steps. <laughs> <laughs> Think of all these hard sets. These are the people with gut. This is the highest point in this part. These are the people who walked up, got tired and are taking a break. Now the walk is more oblique, uh, I would say 30 degrees and little hard. Sneakers are the only way to walk, never I heel chapels. Coming back is even worse. All one needs is a high wind to knock people down in this steep walk. Climbing up these steep steps, people are getting tired. Also because of the height, I am little breathless. White is so one can see the depth of it. Further the steps are uneven, some are 13 inches, some are 8, some are 4. That's another problem, one has to be careful. As I climb further up, one can see the panoramic view. This is a watch tower, the steeps are even more steeper and higher. Another watch tower. Because the Mongols were more stronger than Chinese, yeah. it was easy to shoot them down from high up in the mountain as at the ground level they did not build a great wall. Apparently Mongols also had a better accuracy in arrow shooting. Further view. Actually there are two sides to the great wall. The lower wall with a, which is continuous on the Chinese side and on the Mongolian side is the one that has got a holes in it under the higher level. This is again the hole with an arch that is uh, facing downwards and has a reason for shooting the rope on one side and the great wall on the other. In spite of enormous foreign visitors and the Olympic just last year, who can read this sign other than the locals? Some more and this goes on and on for 8,700 kilometers and I'm going to stop filming. Come on, beat, beat, beat! Come on, come on. <laughs>
Beijing Botanical Garden. It is way outside the city in the north west direction. When one can see the floral decoration, this is the right time to be here because September is the time when most flowers are blossomed due to their national day on October 1st. As I enter the main gate, one can see this uh, floral lettering or an art. On a close up, you can see the type of flowers that are being used, including coleus, chrysanthemums. This beats any American Halloween or it's a con chrysanthemums, including an animation with uh, pumpkins, gold, and in the background is the rose garden. In particular, this buffalo dragging the cart of uh, pumpkins is an impressive creation. This is the best rose blossoms that I have seen in Beijing. Even though many of the highway boulevard are lined by rose plants makes sense as through the thorns nobody can penetrate and cross the street. This kid is Climbing up on the bridge and the parents are so happy when I ask for permission to videotape him. These are some of the top one and photographing the photographer. How is this for a rose garden? Maybe the center is a fountain which is non-functional now. Chinese seem to have a knack of doing things right, at least in the last 60 years. Continuing on the rose garden, there seem to be roses everywhere. Coming back to this fountain with the roses, is the hill in the background makes this whole place look marvelous they also made begonia arches and pillars in a close-up that's what it looks like these are grown in parts and then put horizontally through a metal frame Another walkway, one can see the end of it, another planted design. One more of such design, all from plants. My leg started hurting, especially the left ankle, so I got into this uh, electric cart for a tour of the garden because it is huge. Chrysanthemum Garden is located next to the conservatory. Chrysanthemum Garden grown in parts and arranged in the very decorative way. For example, this particular one 
one can see the of fountain with the flowers being organized as they come through the spring. in a very geometrical pattern. This is one huge plant grown and organized into this global appearance. Surrounded by Japanese chrysanthemums of a different color. This is almost like a bonsai and talking about Japanese chrysanthemums here is a whole acreage of them, as if I am right on that. The spring is put so that the petals will spread and fall, giving a larger appearance, as seen on this flower. View of the conservatory, which is a tropical forest, through this uh, chrysanthemum garden. Talking about the size, this answers the question. This row is with flowers more open compared to the earlier one. How about this chrysanthemum bird? A double color. Chrysanthemum forest. <laughs> and a good place to eat lunch. Another bouquet. Another angle from the chrysanthemum garden. This is a chrysanthemum tower. Not to miss a chrysanthemum pagoda. How about a chrysanthemum vase? all in this nicely put display. Now the close-up of this tropical conservatory. Huge. This is the first time I'm seeing a palm tree because I'm in the tropical garden under the hood. That's why there are orchids too. These orchids show luxurious flowers. My favorite royal farm, Terracotta Warriors in the tropical garden in Beijing and no two faces are alike. Even these guys are green. This is a fake Rufasia. That's a giant seed. Non-veg plant. This is the real color combination. The enhancer is blended with orchids. And gets even more colorful. As they are under picture plant. Even more so when they are so nicely organized. And the Rajasthani pink, the enhances, competing with this pink orchid. The little girl is walking and the mother is photographing. Yes, this is not a champagne bottle, but Queensland bottle tree native to Australia. The trunk has water and the travelers can drink that water for traveling in the desert. As I am ending my visit to this beautiful botanical garden. 
go to the box? Yeah. Uh, if you close the other. One can see this dragon, other floral dragon. In the middle of this beautiful garden flowers. So colorful. A close up will tell you how these are planted. Another angle as it continues. with a large bed of colorful flowers in the pot that has spread all over coming back to this enormous floral arrangement One asks the question, how do they water it? And this doesn't stop here. It keeps going and going and going. There never seems to be any ending of this.